Okay, let's solve this equation. Multiplying by 2, 6x minus 10 plus 8 equals 4x minus 5. Take the axis to the left, that's 2x. The non-axis to the right, that's 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 minus 5 minus, ugh, fractions, no like. <laughs> let's double check. I'm not doing something very stupid. 6 minus 4 is 2, minus 5 minus 8 plus 10 is minus 3. Ugly fraction answer. Simplify this. That's They multiply. And then when you divide, you subtract. So that's 14. I wonder if you can check the answer on the calculator. 3 power 20. I feel like I should be able to. 3 power 4. I'm just curious, can I handle the large numbers? Power 5, 3 power 6, minus 3 power 14. Yeah, can handle the large numbers. Solve the simultaneous. Yeah, let's go with times 5 times 2. 15x plus 10y equals 5. 14x plus 10y equals minus 10. Subtracting, they leave me with x minus uh, 5 minus minus 10, so positive 15. Sub that back in to get the y. So 10y would equal 5 minus 15x, which is 225. So what's that now? y equals minus 220 over 10, so minus 22. So x is 15 and y is minus 22. I'm going to confirm that. That is wrong. <laughs> 14, 10, minus 10, 15, 10, 5, 15 minus 14 is 1, 5 minus minus 10 is 15, 3, 2, 1. Man, what am I doing wrong? 15, 10, 5, 14, 10. Why did I say minus 10? Minus 2 times 2 is obviously minus. Oh dear. Minus 4. So that's 9. Good thing I checked. Don't do a leave insert exam at 10 o'clock at night. That's the lesson here. And y would equal, 10y would equal 5 minus 15 times 9. Minus 13. Let's check. Yes. That shouldn't have been as hard as it was. I should do this. 